Throughout the recorded history of mankind, reports of mysterious and unexplained phenomenon abound. People in every corner of the earth have observed things that science and reason cannot even begin to explain. Will we ever know what these bizarre and often terrifying paranormal events mean? Were we meant to know? Or are we catching a forbidden glimpse of an alternate existence beyond our mortal ability to comprehend? Every culture and every community has an unsolved mystery or dark secret which defies explanation and remains unsolved to this day. Our professionals leave no stone unturned, no door unopened, and no dark corner unexplored. I, I thought it might have been a black bear, but it weren't. It moved kind of like a person. I'm going out in that way with my track, with my gun, and I'm going to go get that thing, you see. But there's people coming in from all over the place, all over town, everywhere else. They're buying rifles and shotguns and they're stocking up on ammo. Well, I think it is probably a large animal, a large creature of some sort. You heard right, folks. Last night, between the hours of 8 and 11 p.m., three sightings of a large, hairy man-like creature were reported in three separate locations. Earlier, I spoke with Tom Bushill, a local chicken farmer, about what he saw. Well, we was in bed. It was around 8 o'clock, I guess. We go to bed early because we got to get up with the chickens. Well, I heard a hell of a racket out in the in-house, and uh, I thought it was them damn raccoons again, so I went outside. Well, them chickens were just a hawking their little beaks off, so I headed for the hen house. Well, I just about got to the door, and this huge thing came charging out of the door and, and, and knocked me right on my ass. Other sightings were reported along the Great Pass Trail around 10 p.m. last night. Two motorists in separate locations reported a large hairy man-like creature crossing the road. One motorist claimed the hairy creature was carrying a live squawking chicken. I spoke with county biologist Bill Mulhern, who investigated these claims, and he had this to say. We here at the county understand the romance attached to a belief in a creature such as Bigfoot. We don't, after all, want a countywide panic on our hands when all we might have is a black bear. Perhaps one of the strangest accounts came from eight-year-old Mara LaPan. Mara, as you might recall, predicted the wildfires of 2003 after seeing a vision in a glass of orange Kool-Aid at a local Sunday church picnic. Mara claims the creature speaks to her in her thoughts, and she understands it. It doesn't want to hurt us. It's like all living creatures. It just wants to live. People just stay away from it. This is Terry Kennedy for Paranormal Files, where the news is not always normal here in Palmer's Mills, Maine, where I'll keep all of our viewers informed about what is going on.